I'm going to digitize a diagram of a rope maze and cut it out on the CO2 laser. This is the full size diagram. Shown here, I'm using the new Logic Trace 2022. The first selection I'm making is the circle command. You just touch that circle in three spots and the computer will echo back the diameter. You can either confirm it or you can change it. Here I'm going to start tracing out those arc-like circles and I'm going to use the curve command. I'm going to be using a quarter inch oak panel to do this cut. Now I'm going to start tracing those small little wedges and I'll use the trace command. Here I'm going to start tracing out the whole outer perimeter of the maze using the curve command. Now I'll start tracing out some of those internal curves. As I continue tracing, I thought it'd be a good spot to talk about the new Logic Trace 2022 program. It's been completely rewritten, utilizing new technology, and works with all the computers, and that includes the Macintosh. The program creates an easy trace and it's accurate and it has two windows the left side being the control window and the right side being the display window. The control window has easy to use buttons and you can switch between lines, arcs, curves and tracing and the circle command and it gives very accurate patterns of what's being traced. The display window has improved resolution and has an added zoom feature. There are options and setup buttons to configure the program to suit the user. One option that was important to me was the line display. What you're looking at on the display, I selected 0.5, so it's a nice fine line. One unique feature of the program is the ability to extend the control window to another device. For instance, like a cell phone or an iPad. What's nice about that is you can have that beside you while you make your selections. It makes it really easy tracing. I find the program easy to use and it's fast. It has the ability to be saved in different formats like DXF, PolyDXF, SVG, PDF formats. Getting close now to finishing up our tracing so I'm going to save that file as a DXF file and I'm going to load that file into the laser software, run it through the simulator just to see how much time it's going to take. I'm using a 300 watt laser and I've got the power set about 20 percent and the speed about 0.75 makes a nice fine cut and the part just drops right out. Not sure if you can see it or not but I've got this panel held down by four magnets because it's got a bit of a, a bit of a warp to it. It's a very smooth fine cut. Once I'm finished my cut I'll remove all the parts 
and the part that I keep I'm going to clear coat it with four coats of lacquer. So finish now is just cutting out the perimeter. This shows the final cut. Here are the backgrounds removed and you can see all the parts. This is the rope maze all cut out sitting on the bench. I'm now giving it the four coats of lacquer. It looks good. So this was the rope maze.